In this video, I'll compare the Elecon Deft Pro and the Apple Magic Mouse and show you which one I threw away. Alright, so these are the mice that I've been using over the years. Uh, starting off with this one. I like this one because it was small, compact, cheap. Uh, you don't have to worry about if you lose it. This is one of the deals where you get the USB uh, little dongle here. You pull that out. You stick it in the USB port and uh, you're good to go. Uh, but obviously that takes up a USB port, so I didn't like that. And you can't, very, you can't do very much with this mouse. Uh, it's only left, right click, and the wheel. Uh, it does have the advantage for trading in that when you, can click, when you click the wheel, it uh, shows the crosshair on programs like Metatrader. But other than that, I didn't like this mouse too much, so I gave that up pretty quickly. Next mouse I went to was the Magic Mouse. And uh, I like the fact that it's so thin and um, it really is easy to carry. The ergonomics does take a little getting used to because it's so flat that you have to put your hand like this and then use the uh, touch surface like that. But it is a little bit more useful for trading in that you can scroll through the, the charts like this and you can use some of the gestures to do certain things. However, what I don't like about this mouse is that the when you tap it too much like that, the, the battery cover comes off on the bottom and um, it, it's gotten a little finicky as far as the battery position. So sometimes it'll disconnect because the batteries aren't uh, sitting correctly inside of the connectors. So uh, after a while that got pretty annoying. So I switched over to this trackball mouse. It's the uh, Deft Pro by Elecom and I really like it. It's, it's a good mouse and the fact that it's a trackball um, was a little daunting at first. I didn't know if I would like it or not, but I decided to give it a try. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's a little bit bigger than regular mice, but not by a whole lot. Like the old trackballs used to be huge and they would take up your whole desk and then you couldn't do anything else with them. But uh, this one is wireless. It's uh, not that much bigger than a regular mouse. And uh, it has a lot of great features. So let's take a look at it. So starting on the bottom, the DPI switch here determines how fast the, um, the cursor moves. So if you uh, click that button, you'll see the light flash here. And then that determines how fast the cursor moves. Obviously, You have the uh, low setting, the high setting, and off uh, for the power switch. And if it's on the high setting, then it, it's a little bit more responsive, a lot more exact. If you put it on the low setting, then it's not as precise but uh, you also save battery. Um, and then here is the pairing button to pair it with Bluetooth. It also comes with a dongle that you can stick in here. Uh, but I, I really don't like these because they use up a USB port. So I don't use it as much as possible. But the great thing about this is that you can switch it between uh, Bluetooth and the uh, 2.4 gigahertz receiver. So when this switch is on blue, that's when it's uh, connected to Bluetooth and that's what I have it connected as now. So these buttons are really cool. This is a forward button, back button. You can use that with your browser primarily or any other function that needs a back and forward uh, functionality. Then there's a programmable button here and I've actually programmed that to open my trading uh, window. So to open trading view, uh, which is pretty nice. Then this big button here is the left click button. And then you have the wheel, which goes backwards and forward, but also up and down. And I'll get into why that's useful in a little bit. Then you have the, um, the big trackball here. Really cool, really smooth. I really like it. And it's very precise. Then you have a function button here. You have a function button here. And you have a function button here. So I've programmed these to be uh, copy, paste, and right click. And that's super useful, especially when working on documents. And then if you go around to the front, you'll see that there is a, a USB port and you can use actually use this as a wired mouse also if you run out of batteries or whatever. So let's take a look at this mouse in action. So I'm gonna demonstrate this mouse with TradingView. Uh, it's a similar deal with other trading platforms like MetaTrader. So when you go back and forth on the scroll wheel, you can zoom in and out easily. But when you go up and down on the scroll wheel, you can also go forward and backwards really smoothly and you can do it really quickly. So that's a huge benefit to having this type of a mouse uh, compared to the other standard mice. Then with the trackball, it's really nice because you can just keep the mouse in one place and you can just move the ball. Whereas if you have one of these mice, 
uh, I found myself always banging into the side of the computer like this and then yeah obviously you can lift it up and move it but it was kind of a pain so having the ball here and having the mouse just in one set place is really advantageous and is less distracting than regular mice now I've also programmed in copy and paste into the uh, function buttons so when you use trading view you can also copy and paste really quickly so for example before I had copied I think the word close so if I paste Oh, it's cross. So cross comes up and then I can hit the button and paste it again. So that makes it easy to uh, cut and paste things without actually having to go to your keyboard. Battery life on this mouse is also supposed to be really good. They say you can get up to a year on one AA battery. Whereas with the Magic Mouse, I was replacing the batteries every two weeks or so. So this is going to be a huge improvement and it's going to be a lot less headache. And even if I don't get one year out of one AA battery, um, even if I get a few months out of it, I'll be really happy. So the only downside of this mouse is the software. Um, out of the box, I think it works well with Windows, but it doesn't work very well with Mac. So with Mac, I found that only this button, the back and forward buttons work. Uh, the left click button here works. Scroll wheel works. And uh, this function button here works as a right click. The rest of the buttons are not functional. So in order to program those buttons, you have to install extra software. And when I installed the Elecom software, it was completely terrible. It didn't start at all and it didn't work. So I kind of stuck with the stock settings for a little while, but then I thought, hey, there should be something out there that will make this work. So um, I went on Reddit and on Reddit, I found this software called Steer Mouse and it does everything that I needed to. I can program all of the buttons like this. I can put in uh, different cursor speeds and all these other uh, adjustments to the wheel and it's a really nice piece of software however it does cost an extra twenty dollars so it adds twenty dollars onto the cost of the mouse but I believe that it's totally worth it that would be the only downside if you have a Mac but uh, for Windows it should operate correctly as far as I can tell uh, as far as what I was reading so if you've been looking for a new mouse and you think this is a cool idea I would highly recommend giving it a try I really like it it's a portable size, has all the functionality that I want, and I was even able to find a case for this on Amazon. So if you want to find out which case that is, uh, look in the description below and I'll give that link. And yeah, that's the Deft Pro from Elecom. Really solidly built, um, all plastic obviously, but really nice, uh, feels uh, really substantial, and the action on the uh, rollerball is really smooth. So highly recommended for trading. Highly recommended for anything, actually, uh, just regular computer work. It's fantastic, especially when you can do copy and paste just with the buttons. So if that interests you, check it out. If you like this video, thumbs up is always appreciated. And if you want to get more videos like this where I reviewed products, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to get updates, and thanks for watching.